In this video I'm going to show you the different uh, connectors that we have for our LED boards. Um, first of all, these are our, our modular LED boards. Um, they are the same Cree LEDs that you'll find on the little stars. Um, you might have seen it at other, other stores for sale. Um, except we uh, added them to a printed circuit board and uh, put on some little connectors for you to make it a little easier. Um, to connect them together. Um, <clears throat> so we have a bunch of different connectors. Here's the two inch, which is our two inch standard connector. Um, then we have this, the same in a four inch connector. Um, and then we have a little extension cable and our start and end kit uh, connectors. <clears throat> um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to string a set of LEDs together. Um, so can this out of the way. So a basic LED string, uh, you'll only use two different sets of connectors. There's the standard connector, these ones are two inches long, and the start and end kit. Um, the standard connectors are basically just used um, to connect the LEDs together. Can, uh, String them together in as many um, LED strings as you like, or as many LEDs in a series as you like. Um, the drivers will drive different numbers um, of LEDs depending on which um, driver you choose. Uh, both of these meanwhile ones that I have right here will both drive up to 14, uh, between, uh, between about 8 and 14 um, LEDs. <coughs> Um, so in this string we have six, so let's add a couple more. So here we have um, six uh, modular LED boards, 12 LEDs. Um, once you have your string of LEDs set up, uh, you need the start and end kit. So the end kit simply just terminates um, the series like that, and the start kit just goes in the start. Pretty simple. Um, the start kit um, then has uh, is red and black, and that corresponds to the red and black um, on your meanwhile driver. So you simply connect red to red, black to black, um, and that will power up your string of LEDs. Similar, uh, the other, the ELN6048D meanwhile driver is basically essentially the same, only it has four wires this is for the dimmer, um, but again, this red connects to the positive, red, and black to the negative, black. When you're making any of these connections, um, we recommend that you use these weatherproof, waterproof uh, wire twister connectors. Um, they're filled with silicone, so once you pierce um, the silicone, it basically uh, makes it watertight. And you don't need to pre-twist <clears throat> any of the cables together, you just um, push them both as far in as they'll both go, start to twist, and uh, that will uh, twist them together and create the connection. But these are great, especially um, when you're connecting the... Uh, input voltage, because that's 110 or 240 volts, um, you've got to make sure you're using these uh, waterproof connectors. <clears throat> so that's our, these are our two inch standard connectors, our, the start and end kit to start and end each uh, string of LEDs. Um, as I said before, we also have the four inch connector and that just gives you a little bit more um, space between your LEDs, maybe uh, depending on how you lay them on your heatsink, you might need a four inch connector just to uh, give you a little bit more spacing. The connection extender um, is slightly different. It's got a male and a female end, <clears throat> and this will extend any of our connectors for up, up to 10 inches. So here we have a two inch connector. We could add the connection extender to it. Now we have a one, a one foot connector. This is commonly used um, with the start kit. Um, <clears throat> let's say, for example, your driver is uh, 
only reaches to over here, and my LEDs start over here, then you need uh, something to bridge this gap, so that's where you would use uh, the connection extender. And that lets you have your uh, driver and LEDs pretty far apart. Um, let's say you were using um, just six LEDs. Um, this would be another common scenario: is uh, if you're using the little, the long, skinny heat sink for supplemental lighting uh, with one of these drivers. Um, you might want to put uh, one, so this would be the one string, um, but you need a, a longer reach. So you can have them on either side of your light fixture if you're, uh, if you were adding supplemental lighting to the, the, the sides of your, of your light fixture. <clears throat> so those are our basic connectors for LEDs. Um, let's just say we have the, the four inch connector, just the four inch standard connector, the two inch connectors, and then your uh, start and end kit, um, or they come as a as pack of one. So for each, let's say if you have um, six boards in your series. Uh, you need five of the standard connectors, that's either two inch or four inch, and one start and end kit. So it's always one, the number of standard connectors is always one less than the number of modular LED boards that you have. So here we have six boards, so I need five standard connectors and one um, start and end kit. And then let's say the connection extender is uh, totally optional if you need a little bit of extra reach. Um, the only other thing I have to show you in this video is uh, we have two testers for testing LEDs. Um, get rid of some of these. So these are our two testers. <clears throat> you need uh, the two two battery tester is to test an individual LED. And the four battery tester is to test the whole module. Um, so <clears throat> I can show you how to do that. You just add some batteries here. So we're, this is our two battery. If you look closely on the LED, you'll see uh, there's a little plus and a minus on each LED. Um, which tells you which way the input um, should go. So red is positive, black is negative, and you just touch that. There's little pads either side of each LED, and you just touch them um, on either side, and you should uh, the LED should light up. <clears throat> so that's a two battery kit to test an individual LED, um, and the four battery then tests can test the whole module to make sure that it works. Now there's a, you, on the little connectors you'll also see positive and negative. Um, you could just touch the connectors directly. Um, where it says modular LED you need the, the two that are at the top next to the modular LED. This side's the positive and negative. You could just touch them, touch the little connectors here and they should power up. But an easier way um, to test it is actually put the, um, put the end kit in and then put a standard connector in. <clears throat> and then the positive goes in top side here, and negative right in here. And that should par up um, our little LED board to show you that it works. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it for our little video on um, LEDs and their connectors. Um, just in summary, each driver uh, drives a specified number of LEDs. These two both up to um, 14 LEDs per, so these will drive 14 LEDs each. Here we've got uh, six boards, which is 12 LEDs. So these would be perfect for driving 12. 
Um, the connectors that you need for each series, you need a start and end kit, and you need one less than the number of boards for the standard connectors. So we've got six boards, we need five connectors, and those can either be the two-inch connector or the four-inch connector, um, plus the start and end kit, uh, which is a total of six connectors, I guess, um, in the end, the same number of boards. Uh, we also have, let's say, the connection extender to make any uh, connect connector a little longer. Uh, make sure you're using the weatherproof uh, cable tie or cable uh, twists when you're connecting to the drivers. And say we have our two different testers uh, for testing the LED boards. Um, if you have any questions on how to string LEDs together, um, please let us know.